Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to use the Signal Analyzer tool. Signal Analyzer in Robot Studio is a powerful tool used to monitor and analyze signals from robots and other connected devices. It helps in diagnosing issues, optimizing performance, and ensuring smooth operation. We will quickly unpack and work our station for this purpose. Once our virtual controller is up and running, click on Simulation tab. We can see the Signal Analyzer tool. When utilizing the Signal Analyzer, the initial step involves identifying the specific signals to be analyzed. These selected signals will be recorded during the simulation, allowing for subsequent analysis. The signals may originate from a virtual controller, the station, or a smart component. Check Enabled feature to turn the signal recordings on and click on Signal Setup. Here we can see all the signals that we can include to analyze. We will check the signals. Speed in current work object, which is an analog signal, fine point, which is a digital signal, and target changed, which is an event. Now let's play the simulation to record the signals that we have selected. After the simulation is over, we can click on Signal Analyzer to view the recorded signals. We can see that our analog signal, speed in current work object, digital signal, fine point and event of target changed have been successfully recorded. We can easily hide or unhide any signal from the timeline by clicking on the eye icon in front of the signal. The user can efficiently navigate the graph using the mouse. To zoom in and out of the signal graph, utilize the scroll wheel. The left or right mouse button can be used to click and drag the signal graph. Additionally, the scroll wheel on the vertical axis allows for zooming the scale in or out. You can also right-click on an analog signal to transfer it to a different signal graph. This feature is particularly beneficial when analyzing multiple signals. Consider the following example. We have multiple analog signals. By right-clicking on a specific signal, we can transfer it to a different signal graph. Additionally, we have the option to display all signals within a single graph for a comprehensive view. Furthermore, we can organize the signals based on their respective units. In order to review the entire simulation, we can use the time slide bar present at the bottom. There are functions available for the user, like auto scale, snap to point, show guides, show points, arrange, trim, zoom in, and zoom out. With the help of these functions, user can easily analyze any signal present in the timeline. Click on Auto Scale in the toolbar to turn on or off the auto scaling of the vertical axis. This feature ensures that all relevant data points are visible and optimally spread across the graph, making it easier to analyze and interpret the signals without manually adjusting the scale. Click on Snap to Point. This function allows you to snap your cursor to the nearest data point making it easier to analyze and interpret the signal data accurately. Click on Show Guides. When you enable this feature, it displays reference lines or guides on the graph, which can assist you in aligning and comparing different signal points more accurately. Click on Show Points. When enabled, this feature marks each data point with a small symbol, making it easier to see the exact values at specific points along the signal. Click on Arrange. When you use this feature, it automatically arranges the signals in a way that makes them easier to compare and analyze. This can be particularly useful when dealing with complex data sets or multiple signals, ensuring that your graph remains clear and readable. Consider the following example. We have multiple analog signals. These signals can be systematically organized within a single graph to provide a comprehensive overview, or they can be displayed separately.
Additionally, the signals can be categorized according to their respective units, as previously demonstrated. Trim function allows you to cut or remove unwanted sections of your signal data. This can be particularly useful when you want to focus on specific parts of your signal for detailed analysis. Consider the following example. To trim a specific section of the signal graphs, first zoom in and select the desired time range for analysis. Then click on the trim function. This action saves a copy of the recording, including only the visible time range. As illustrated, Recording 5 clip represents the trimmed version of Recording 5. Now, let's run our simulation again. This time, we will visualize our signal analyzer window and our station side by side. As the programmed path is run, we can see our selected signals being recorded for our analysis. Next, we will check how we can use Signal Analyzer to improve performance and fine-tune our programmed path. If we check our simulation again, we can clearly notice some speed drops as the robot moves from point to point at this section. There seems to be a slight change in the surface of the part right before the corner that is causing the tool to reorient several times in a short distance. The motion is accurate based on the path generated on the part surface, However, it results in a noticeable decrease in TCP speed. This reduction in speed may be undesirable for this specific application. Given that we are dispensing glue, a smoother motion would be more suitable. Clicking on the events will display the information about the event, such as time and what instructions are being called. Click on location, and this function opens the rapid tab and places the cursor at the selected instruction. In this case, you should find that the reorientation is happening between the targets PGLU 180 and PGLU 230. We can fine tune the path by interpolating the path between targets 180 and 230. An interpolated path refers to the process of creating a smooth and continuous trajectory for the robot to follow between defined points. We can select our Glue Path 3 and right-click to select Interpolate Path. Despite the fact that the problem area begins to appear at target 180, the Interpolate function cannot start with a target that is part of a circular move instruction. For this reason, we will select target 170 as the starting position. Select Start Target as 170 and End Target as 230. Leave the lock axis orientation set to none in order to allow the targets to be free to move in all axes, thus giving us the smoothest motion. Click on Apply and then Close. Next, synchronize the path to Rapid and run the simulation again. Upon reviewing the section of the path where we previously observed a drop in TCP speed, we can now clearly see that the trajectory is smooth between targets 170 and 230. In this specific application, where we are dispensing glue, a smoother motion is advantageous. Ensuring the adhesive layer is applied with the correct thickness can significantly enhance quality, provided the appropriate speed is maintained. We can select additional signals to be recorded in Signal Analyzer, power consumption levels, joint values, event logs, I.O. signals, stop estimation, TCP positions and more can all be recorded using the signal analyzer. We can also use the recordings and playback features. Click on recordings to export the recordings in different formats. Click on Playback to rerun the recording using the time slide bar. These features are particularly useful for ensuring that the robot operates correctly and efficiently, and they provide valuable insights for continuous improvement. So this was a little demonstration of our Signal Analyzer tool using a virtual controller. Under the Controller tab, you can also use the Signal Analyzer online tool 
that allows you to monitor and analyze signals from a real robot controller in real time. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.